With warmer weather here and the pandemic easing, tests by an online pharmacy and lab show dozens of popular sunscreens and after sun products contain a chemical tied to blood cancers. Benzene, it's a known carcinogen, was found in 27% of sprays and lotions tested. That includes products sold by Neutrogena, Banana Boat, and CVS. The online pharmacy lab Valley Shore has asked the FDA now to recall these products and investigate the manufacturing process. Johnson & Johnson, maker of Neutrogena products, told CBS News, benzene is not an ingredient in any of our personal care products. CVS said, quote, we are in the process of reviewing and evaluating information in and related to Valishur's petition and will respond accordingly. And the maker of Banana Boat said, quote, our sun care products undergo rigorous testing to ensure safety and quality and meet all FDA regulations. Our chief medical Correspondent Dr. John LaPook joins us now. John, good morning. Uh, benzene is an ingredient that is not intentionally added in sunscreen. So how is it ending up in more than a quarter of the sunscreens that were tested? Uh, good morning, Anthony. And it is not an ingredient. This is so important. There's no manufacturer that's intentionally adding it to the sunscreen product. Somehow it's in there as a contaminant. It's not clear how it gets in there. Is it one of the ingredients that got contaminated? Is it the process of making the lotion or the after sun uh, product that somehow creates it? We're not sure. That's part of one of the things that the FDA is going to be looking into. How significant uh, are the levels of benzene that were found in, in these sunscreens? Well, remember, about 27% of the batches tested had it. So 73%, I was told there'd be no math, but 73% <laughs> uh, didn't have it for people who are listening. Uh, it went from undetectable to about six parts per million. I know it's hard for people to say, what does that mean, a part per million? But remember that it shouldn't be in there really at all. There's no reason for it to be in there. And the suntan lotion works perfectly fine without it. So uh, how much would someone have to use for this to possibly affect their health? Well, this has been described for many, many decades, about 100 years, uh, that benzene is a problem. Now, remember that the problem with benzene is it can cause leukemia, anemia, things like this. And it was described in, in factories where people were inhaling relatively larger amounts of it in the air over many, many years. So for people out there who are listening saying, I use suntan lotion for... for many years in the past. First of all, we don't know if it was there in the past. We right. still need the FDA to confirm that, in fact, it's there at a certain level. And we're going to give these companies, you know, the companies gave the statement saying we don't put it in as an ingredient and uh, we're safe. But we need to have them do independent testing, too, and confirm the, the findings of Valisure. Yeah, Dr. LaPook, as a former Floridian here, I do want to say that uh, skin cancer is real. The calculation is still in favor of using sunscreen. People should not abandon it. However, the FDA is looking into uh, this citizen's petition, is what it's called, from Valley Sure. What more can the FDA do? Well, the first point you made is so important. Remember, skin cancer kills thousands of people a year. You need to wear a hat. You need to cover up. And also, Valisure on their website has published a list of the uh, various products and batch numbers. Here's a very important thing. Listen up. There were certain brands that depending upon the batch number, had either six parts per million or didn't have it at all. So if you go to cbsnews.com, we'll have a link to the Valisher website, and people can say, okay, what batch do I have, or which ones don't have it at all? And maybe until we get the FDA weighing in and these companies weighing in, uh, we need to have people looking at that. And maybe one thing to do is to say, all right, I'm going to make the decision myself based on the available information. In terms of what the FDA can do, I mean, what Valisher is saying is we need to not only have a concentration, but an absolute amount. How much sh can it have before it starts to increase the risk significantly? And it shouldn't be left up to sort of a crowdsourcing function where a company like Valisher, which has done this before with other products. Uh, yeah. Remember Zantac, they found the NDMA and sunscreen lotion, uh, the, the uh, hand sanitizer, they found benzene a couple of months ago. It shouldn't be a random process. It should be routine. It should be part of when, when these companies 
make these products, they should be testing them. That's what Valisher is saying themselves. Because remember, the FDA has a lot of other things to do. They can't be out there testing every one of these products. And they're saying, look, these companies should be doing the testing themselves and publish it. And then that way we can try to get our arms around how big of a problem is this. Think yeah. about the next problem. It may be face lotions or other things. We have to have these companies doing this routinely. Yeah, still so many questions for consumers, John. Thank you very much. For a list of the sunscreen test results, go to our website, CBS This Morning. Com. You'll also find instructions for sending Valashore samples of sun products for testing.